Hey everybody, this is Soph. This is Rich. And we are from across the, the pond. pond. It is Friday. Rich. What's going on? You are in a good mood. Oh, or is yeah. it gone already? That didn't last very long. It's fun Friday. What are you talking it's about? It's fun Friday. But what's been going on in the week for you? Uh, work for me has been just up and down. Uh, we'll, we might have to talk about it in one of my in one, in one of our shows. But Can we make a whole show dedicated to you and your work. Is that no? How oh, oh. No, no, no. Just just work in general. Like we could just talk about supervisors, talk about our past co-workers. Jobs, what, we used, what we used to do, our past jobs. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait for this to be a past job and this be a full time one. I'm gonna write that down. Jobs. We gotta put that in the atmosphere. Uh, anyway, work has been okay. It's been a little up and down. Uh, I'm working a later shift, so it's from I'm working from three to eleven thirty at night, and I'm not used to this at all. I know you've said a couple of weeks in a row now it's really hacking at you. So yeah, it's, we normally it's come yawning. So, um, but it is Friday. All is well. I got all my fingers and toes. Um, I'm in right mind today. So we're good. Woo! No yawning today, no? Nope. Get in. Now, we don't get me wrong. Work. I might just yawn because you said it, but that's okay. Well, let me think. My week. Forgive me, people, but um, my original mug is in uh, the dishwasher. Uh, some of us still come. Oh, my God. You go, how could you miss your mouth? Do I get a hole in my lip? Do I get a hole in my lip? How did oh you God. miss your mouth? That's what happens when you don't come with the correct mug. You spill it on your uh, didn't. Sp- but I didn't spill. It did feel like I did, though. My beard would probably catch it, though. Well, <laughs> oh, my God. So my What's going week- on with you? What's going on with you? My week. Do you know what? My week seems to drag at the beginning and then go so quick at the end. I'm like, whoa, what have I done this week? We've had school. Alfie went to school for two days and then homeschooling from the rest. And he actually joined in. Like, it was so nice to see because normally he's like, "Eh," you don't want to join in if it's on the phone. You know, like Zoom, it's it's, it's alien to him. You know, he's probably thinking, what is that teacher doing in my house? You know, although she's only on the screen, he don't see her at home. Um. But this week he actually joined in. He joined in with them, chose the morning song, um, signed good morning back to the teacher and signed something else. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. So it is nice to see. Um, the other end of it, though, is we've got an advert for car insurance here called Go Compare. English people will know it's a big opera guy with a moustache that sings Go Compare or like, constantly. Al's been singing that for the last two days and it's really getting on my absolute last nerve, I will say. Hmm. But he's he's going strong. Two days solid. The Go Compare advert. Hmm, hmm. Send help. Um, But yeah, other than that, I've still been working out. Oh, snap. You hear that? (laughs) Um, Nothing else exciting. Nothing else exciting. All right, well, what's going on in the news? You first. In the news, that means yours is going to be longer than mine. In the news, same old, same old. The only thing they've said is, you know, like at Christmas, Bojo said, go and see your family on Christmas Day, but don't go and see your family on Christmas Day. He's actually said, no one's allowed any holidays this year abroad or even in this country. Don't have a holiday this year if you book a holiday. So it's what not, she means by holiday is vacation, people. So it's not banned, but they're saying don't do it. Don't even go away in this country for the rest of the year. But what he did say is on the 22nd of February is when he's going to announce and, and, and address the public and let them know his strategy to get out of this situation. What month is that? Yeah, February, 22nd of February. He's apparently going um, to announce. Uh, make a big announcement. Mm. Well, what's going on here in the news is that um, our new president is trying to pass a stimulus package 
they're still working that iron and that out. They said they we might not even get that until probably like the next couple months. Um, the vaccine, of course. And then we have the second impeachment, which uh, I'm not going to really elaborate on. But if you want my opinion, I don't even think he's going to get convicted. Oh, really? They had it yeah, on the because, telly um, again the other day, sorry, um, showing that when everyone bombarded the Capitol building again, that was on. Yeah, well, they, um, the Democrats, each side has 16 hours to, um, which is what, I think two days or so, to um, argue their case. The Democrats went first, and I'm going to tell you, they put that thing together. They tied in everything that he said, the people said. They even had new footage of um, how close Pence and Pelosi and all of them were close to being like wiped off the planet. Um, okay, but Democrats, just, uh, that's Joe just, Biden, right? What? The Democrats is Joe Biden, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Republicans is Trump. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm winning. Carry on. Yeah, you're working it. You're working it. So, um, so they put this whole, you know, evidence together. And you know what just pees me off is that this man shows no remorse. Mm -hmm. He, uh, yesterday, why... They're doing this impeachment. This man's off golfing on his own little golf course. Why? Why people? Why his defense is listening to everything? I wouldn't. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. My butthole would be puckered up like this, and I'd be at home just pacing like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" But like they said last night, it ain't like he going to jail. He's not going to jail. He's. It's just. They just don't want him to be able to run again. That's it. Mm -hmm. But then, um, to make a long story short, you know, you got everybody's opinion. Today, starts today at noon, his defense, Trump's defense team are going to argue why they think he shouldn't be convicted. I don't know what they, I don't even know what they can actually fathom on bringing up because, I mean, I didn't watch it as close as I watched the election, but I have watched bits and pieces because like I said, I got to work late. But when I come home, I try to catch up on it. And I'm going to tell you, the new footage, um, his words, they even went back to like years prior, all the way up to like January 6th. And then the kicker is they got a lot of people that's, you know, voicing their opinion saying our president has told us to come even one of the what are those proud boys or the oath or some stuff some late leader lady was there and she even said it back in she was skeptical of coming to what's name only if the president told her. she even said it under oath that yeah he told us to come can I ask you something? Is that mm -hmm. impeachment aired live on telly? Mm-hmm. In the court, you can see it? Mm-hmm, all day long. Mm. It's on TV all day long. Like, you gotta go, I mean, it's not like on, they ain't gonna stop like regular TV, but like, if you go on the like, the government channel, I always say the government channel, like CNN or MSNBC or Fox. And this is the crazy part. And then we're going to jump off of it. His defense team left in the middle of the hearing to go on one of the Fox News channels to be interviewed. I'm like, How has the court allowed that? Nuts. How has the court allowed that? Because, I mean, he has two lawyers. So the one stepped out, the other one was still there. I... I I, I would, I would have, and then they said, um, because I really didn't, I saw a little bit of it, but they said that, like, if they don't convict him, it's going to get ugly here in America. That's all I'm going to say about it. Now, 
on the Can phone. I just Friday. ask you a question before we start Funday what, Friday? What did you say? I'm sorry. What did you no, say? No, it's ask not about. It's not about the turn, the tango guy, or okay, anything well, to do with politics. Yeah. I just got a question. Good, for you. good. Thank you. What? What's the question? On obviously Sunday's Valentine's Day, right? Yes. On Tuesday, do you have Pancake Day? Shrove. It's called Shrove Tuesday. I don't know. You I don't know if you have Pancake but... Day. Let me find out. I'm gonna look it up right now. You would know at your tender age. You would know if you've had a Pancake Day. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because <laughs> where I come from. The churches have pancake breakfasts, and that's all I know. Well, every day? No, no, no. Oh. They would have, I don't know if that's pancake day or not, but. All right, go on and find out for us. You know, the, the churches used to have them serious pancake breakfasts. Tuesday the 16th, <laughs> is it pancake day? Okay, pancake day. Oh, I'm looking. Let's pancake just dance amongst ourselves while we're waiting. Today is uh, Chinese New Year, I know that. I know. We did share that on our socials because we are up to date with all that's going on. Pancake day. Yeah. Guess what our pancake day is? What? Don't tell me a totally different one to us. No, it's the 16th. When is yours? The 16th. That's why I said Tuesday. Oh, yes, we have a pancake day. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really eat pancakes like that, but I do. I'm going to tell you, when I do eat pancakes, I either eat blueberry pancakes or banana. Banana? Mm -hmm. Banana? Banana? Yeah, mm -hmm. people in the UK, it's banana. Yes, yeah, so for your for your answer, yes, do. we do have Pancake Day. Okay. And the reason why I looked up, because my calendar is right there. So I'm I like, know. looked at the drawing and I, I looked up was there. A, I thought you was addressing the Lord himself, waiting to, for him to give you the answer, but. Yeah, like dear Heavenly Father. <laughs> yes, there's Pancake Day on Tuesday. Okay. Do you eat pancakes? I do it well. I do it well. It's not that I don't like them. They don't like me. They tend to stick to my hips. So I try not to eat them, but I do eat them. I'm a French toast man myself. Ask anyone. I'm a French toast man. I know. And that's probably even worse, to be honest, because that is thicker and. I will tear right. some. Pan I'll tear some French toast up if it's made right. If it ain't made right, I will let you know. Be like, oh, it's mushy that's in the middle. Most things, though, if it ain't made right. If you have pancakes. Your pancakes are different to ours. Yours are fat. Yours are fatter and round, whereas our pancakes are thin like crepes. Eey, what kind of... I could eat about 15 of them if they thin and like crepes. No, a pancake got to be thick. And I'm going to tell you, what kind of syrup do you use? Syrup? Golden syrup. You don't put syrup on your pancakes? Well, you can. Uh, golden syrup's the only... We got this. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, my dad, when I was coming up, then we're going to get into it. But my dad, I got to tell you this story. My dad used to, he, he eats this pancake syrup called Cairo. And it's got a big lion head on it, right? And this pan, this syrup is so thick. It'll tear a pancake up. I just, I used to hate it. I used to be like, dad, can we get some like light syrup or Boy, you ain't paying. You ain't paying the grocery bill in here, and I just be like, "Yes, sir." <laughs> wasn't that a, wasn't that your parents' top line when you were younger, man? <laughs> you weren't paying, so I was just like, "Man, this was tearing my pancake up, yo! It tear your pancake up." That syrup was rough. Wrong. I don't even. My dad still eats that syrup. I'll just be like, "Dad, no, uh, you got to come off that no, syrup." He'd just be like, "Oh." This is my syrup. I was like, yes, yes. Sorry. Don't mess with a man and his syrup. Mm -hmm. You know what a syrup is here? Syrup fig. What? Is a wig. <laughs> you said syrup is a wig? Yeah, there's a thing. Did you put it on your head? 
Yeah, we're going to have to do a whole show on like language oh, and stuff because that sounds like a serious fun Friday. Right I know, there. right? I'm going to write that down. The pens out because. No, no. What do you call Lucy? <laughs> I love that one. What a fag! <laughs> you still end over that. Fag, huh? Okay, but let me just let me tell you this might, before we move on. We have got a topic today, by the way, folks. Um, but in London, yes, we do. You know, like you have different accents depending on where you live. Well, in London, they actually have their own language. It's called Cockney rhyming slang because people that come from London are called Cockneys, right? So they made up their own language. So basically a syrup fig, that's a wig. Mm -hmm. So it rhymes, right? So dog and bone, that's your phone. <laughs> so I could say to you, all right, Rich, lend us your dog and bone. Then you would Can have I to give like... me your phone. <laughs> okay. Dog and bone, I'd be like, first of all, Philly is not here. And his toys are downstairs. I, mm -mm. That's a whole nother show. But what is Fun Day Friday today? Mm, I've been waiting for this one. Oh, God. Man versus women. Everyday life style. Okay, I'm mm. going to do a you, a roll, steam roll in with the first question, because normally you do it to me and you're like, and I'm like, what? So, yeah. do you believe in the year 2021 that there should, there not should be, but there is gender roles? So in your house, any household, men have certain jobs, women have certain jobs. Do you think that is the case? That was a really good question. We can hear the cogs turning while you think about it. Now, listen. Gender roles. I let think me get it out there before you answer because we're going to upset some people today. I know for sure I'm going to upset my mum with my answers. So it's just our opinion. Mine, his, this is just what we think. I think there's, I think there's gender roles. There's gender roles in certain aspects. Okay like so like so if you're saying like is it my job to take out the trash mm -hmm. and so do you think it's your job to do the laundry mm -hmm. okay i will tell you how i think because i got it <laughs> I, think. Mm -hmm. I this is just my opinion Woo! can't say that loud enough but i genuinely believe that a woman's job is to look after her home, her kids and her, let's say partner, man or woman, whoever it be. Um, if she chooses to go out to work, that's her business. She should still not let her house slip or her children go without and not cook the dinner. The man, Ooh, you know, like a man <laughs> should be the man of the house. He goes out to work, gets the bread, brings it home. He's in charge of taking the bins out, DIY, mowing the lawn, looking after the cars. If he, uh, now let's not get it twisted here. If at any point he says, you know what, love, I think I'll cook the dinner tonight. Fair play, off you go. But majority of the time, mm -hmm. so and my mum is literally gonna see. hang me for that one statement alone. Well, I just look at it like this. If you're in a relationship and you are, <clears throat> living in the same household I think there should be some discussion on who does what but if you're single it doesn't apply because you got to do everything if you're single you've got to do everything I have to take the bin I'm single I have to take the bins out every Wednesday I have to I was going to tell a big fat lie there and say I've got to do my own DIY so most of the time I call my mum um, but I do give it a go, go karting. I'm not going to lie. Well, let me ask you a question. What if you have a person who isn't D DIY or whatever you call that? What, the man? The man's not yeah. DIY savvy. Um, is, is the woman DIY savvy or not? Yeah. We've, oh, well, then she, so, can do, she can do it then. Go on about her business. She can. Do, I'm not saying this is the thing. I'm not saying she can't do it or she shouldn't do it. I'm just saying generally as a whole, I believe that there are things that men should do and things that women should do. Now, however, if there's a man and a woman and they can both do DIY, she's mm. not so shit hot at it, but she is the bomb. 
Go on, let her do her thing. She can do the DIY then. But I'm getting out of the way. I'm getting out of the way. Go for it. Well, yeah, you already said Okay, it. but so what I'm saying is, all right, I'm like this. Back in the day, if you're if, if you're if 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 my significant other is not working, then I think that's her job is to make sure the house stay on point. Including Laundry, DIY. Food, children. DIY, all that. If she's not working, if I'm bringing home the bacon and she's a stay-at-home mom, mm -hmm. okay, okay, and I come home, I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to look for a pair of socks. I shouldn't have to look for no drawers. Let's just let's, let's all my stuff should be clean. I should be able to go in the kitchen, and the kitchen be clean and some food on the table. That's okay, so like. let's just get this right. If she doesn't work. Not only is she doing the housework, looking after the kids, cooking and blah, blah, blah. She's doing the man jobs of taking the bins out and the DIY and mowing the lawn. Well, no, 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 I'm not saying that. No, I think, you know, as a man, that's my job. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to have my lady out at night trying to put the trash bins. But you did just curve. say you, you did just say you would expect her to do the DIY. The DIY stuff? like the Okay, stuff so the DIY the comes under her umbrella, but not taking the bins yeah. out. Mm -hmm. What about mowing the lawn and looking after the cars then? Mm -mm. That's no, my either. job. So basically, job. anything home related, apart from taking the anything out. home related, if she's not working, because I feel like the way society is now, you need two incomes. Period. Yeah. I mean, yes, there there is there there are situations, and there are people who make enough money to where they really don't need a partner. There isn't. There is jobs out there that where like you know. <clears throat> You can live on your own. I mean, there's a lot of single people out here, but what I'm saying is to function, if you're a family, you need yeah, but to- But that's encourage. because when you become a unit, like when you're a single person, that's one thing. When you become a unit with somebody else, your bills mm -hmm. go up, your shopping bill goes up, your water goes up, your electric goes up, da 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 da, -da. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not necessarily that it goes up, but your two things are combined together. So it makes one yeah. big one. So that being said, you got to compromise. I think like, don't get me wrong. If um, I don't, I, me personally, I love cutting grass. I don't know what it is. I just think, I just feel like it's a manly thing to do. Like I, okay. I like cutting grass. Me personally, I can't stand cutting grass. So you can have that job. But the thing is, you got to sit on lawnmower. So it's not even like you're going to cut the grass. You're just going to sit on it, press a button and drive around for a bit. Well, no, I got to push mower too. But you ain't gonna use it. You're gonna get on sit. Yeah, yeah, I do use it. I I'll do. Tell use you what, shall I tell you? This is a gospel truth. My grandma, whose house this was, she used to have an old-fashioned lawnmower. You know, like a push one, not even an electric one. You just push it, and it's got yeah. blade. And she, I, I had one of them too. She only ever used that right up to the day she would go. And her garden, the garden at that point was up a slope. Yep, I had one it's of a those. Machine. I had one of those. Uh, uh, those were actually nice. Actually, I think they cut your grass a whole lot better, to be honest. But if the you only had thing one about of those it in your is, garden, if you had one of those in your garden now, that'd take you a week. It'd take me, I, I would quit. I didn't even go in front, I would quit. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't go in front. So back to the nature at hand, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you're saying that men should only work on the cars do the yard take out the you're trash can you're, you're twisting my word do, uh, i didn't say they should only do that i'm saying <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm saying correct that me if I, correct me if i'm wrong i didn't <laughs> say it should saying. happen i said that's what i believe like should happen <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm saying is, okay, so you're saying that the women should be in charge of the kitchen? Correct. But remember, I did say, if you come home one night and say, oh, babe, let me cook today, or it's the weekend, and you're like, you know what, I'm not working Saturday, so why don't you have a day off cooking and I'll cook? Fair dues. But if the man's going to go out to work all day, he should have a nice meal waiting for him when he comes home, surely. Mm, thank you, Lord Jesus. You've just been busting all is, day. But what I'm saying is, I'm, 
But what I'm saying is so, okay, so say you're working, your spouse is working. How, how do you, how do you factor that in? I still think because say like say like if say like if I'm working and my significant other is working, I get home before she does. Am I supposed to wait until she comes home to have dinner? Well, that's where the discussion comes open for compromise. If you want to cook, then cook. If you don't, then wait for her. So, so I gotta wait for her to come Either home. Either that, in the or if she's really organized, she could make it the night before. You just gotta put it in the oven. I've never looked at it like that, but I don't think nobody's doing that. Ain't nobody making no meals, not, no. two meals the next day. Listen, it's all about every, I'm, I'm going to put this out there now and all. Every single couple is different. What works for me and you ain't going to work for Jane and Rob down the street. Ain't going to work for Mary and Bob over the road. And ain't going to work for Chris and Betty over there. Everybody's different. So if we got to the situation, let's take me and you, because we've got to use an example. We, to, we live in the same house. We both work. You come home before me. I'd say to you, what do you want to do? And if you said to me, okay, well, I don't want to wait for you. I'd rather cook. I'd say, okay, go on then. You cook. Then I'd make sure I made the breakfast or I made your packed lunch for the next day and I did the cooking at the weekend. Do you know what I mean? See, it's different here in America because women will trip. I think women are more empowered now to where they believe in equal so they believe in if if i can if i can change the oil she can change the oil too. okay and i'm gonna if tell I you can that. change a tire she can change a tire too yeah, and my thing I'm, is stay in your lane yo it ain't just a you american thing women think like that here and like i said even my mom will probably be saying i didn't bring you up to think like that you know because my mom was a single parent so in our household the women did everything because you didn't have a choice. My grandma who had this house, my mom's mom, she was a single parent. So the women did everything. Um, I don't, maybe I've watched too many fairy tales. I don't know. I don't know where it's come from, but. I think that, I think that's, a, I think that becomes a power struggle to me because I feel like <laughs> uh, There's just certain things men can handle versus women. Okay, now you're going to hold on before you move on to the next thing. You're going to have to clarify what you think men handle better than women. Okay. Um, okay, we're going to just put the cars in example. We're just going to put the cars in example. Okay. I think men handle vehicles way better than, than women. Driving or maintaining? Driving and maintaining. I totally agree with you there, although I am a very good driver. Women are the worst drivers, but I drive like a man. That's how I can say that. And then when it comes to now, I don't know, because I, I might have a different opinion on this too, but I think men handle, um, and I, I, I might get a lot of flack for this, but I think men handle finances better too. Ooh, that's debatable. I, I do. I really do. Like, I know, instance, to be fair, uh, I can't believe you're saying that as a spendthrift watch spender that doesn't need any more watches but buys them at the drop of a hat. Well, I can't help that. I got expensive taste, and if that's something that I like, and I will treat myself. I believe in. I believe in treating yourself. Now, don't get it twisted. I don't buy a watch every week or every month or something like yeah, that. So but yeah, yeah. if I do find a if I do find a watch that catches my eye, and I have the money to throw away, but first and foremost, okay. before I do that, mm -hmm. before I do that, all my bills are paid. Okay, if you had a significant other, right, the bills were paid and you went out to skip into the shop and you saw a watch and you liked it, would you buy it or would you say to her, all right, babe, I'm in town. I've just seen this watch I really like. What do you think? Is it all right if I get it or would you just buy it? It's my money. I'm going to buy it. Okay. I ain't going to ask. Well, why would I ask? Just asking. If, if all the bill Let me explain something to you. If all the bills is paid, the lights is on, you got groceries in the refrigerator, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not buying watches every week. And I come home with a watch and I go, look at this watch I got. 
Yeah, you know I mean, look at this watch I got. It's okay, nice. that that what? that question was a two-parter. So you're gonna rock up to the jewelry store, buy yourself a watch because you deserve a treat, and all your bills are paid. Correct? Are you buying mm -hmm. her a treat? Am I buying her a treat? Yeah. Not not right then and there, but probably later. <laughs> I, mean, I give her a treat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I see very one-sided way of thinking there. Well, let me ask Even you a question. If, okay, then, all right, then, all right, roles reversed. Let me ask you a question. Roles reversed. Because women shot way more than guys. So you mean to tell me if your bills aren't paid, when your bills is paid, yada, 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 you don't go get your nails done, hair did, peak feet done. Are you buying? Are you are you getting my nails and feet done and hair did? Nope. Let's just let's just not get it twisted. No one's touching my feet. I do my nails myself, and the hair only is done once every ten weeks. But if all my bills are paid and I go out and I say, "Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that. I'll buy myself a pair of trainers." I'm buying my man something at the same time. I ain't just rocking up home with a treat for myself. And in fact, historically, I ain't even bought nothing for myself. I've bought something for somebody else. So, so what's the sense of what I'm saying? So how do you, so I, I, that's a whole nother stuff. We just, we're going to stay back on it. So I just feel guys handle stuff a whole lot better, especially when it comes to um, discussing business. I think guys handle that a lot what, better you too. You sit there and smoke cigars, so you. Oh no, I'm talking about like say if there's some issues with say like um, say like you had an issue with like a bill or something like that. Guys handle that way better than women. See now, I, I'm not, uh, I don't want to say I disagree with you about the whole finance thing, but I think the finance thing is an individual like. It's, it's equal some women are on the ball with finance like nine times out of ten a lot of women find like finance jobs are women you know like accountants and stuff mm -hmm. women i i don't want to say that but i say it's 50 50 i'm down the line there down the line because you can get spend thrifty guys as well as women i, know, I mean Roy. let's not get it twisted yeah my friend roy, roy. just spent a, a, a colossal amount on one pair of trainers. And you tell Roy I want all that smoke. Yeah, Roy. Listen, Roy is a spend thrifter, but I can't on. front. I'm going to tell you. I asked him if he's going to wear them out, and he said no. So you mean to tell me you spent multiple hundreds of pounds on a pair of shoes that ain't even going to see the light of day? Why? Because he can probably resell them for more. Oh, oh, I don't think he's going to resell them. <laughs> but yeah. And okay, so when it, and then when it comes to finances, certain stuff around the house. Now, my thing is when, and I also think it's a compromise when it comes to like laundry and house cleaning because I, I honestly think I'm a better house cleaner. You would think that because you've been in the military and you have to be. Before I was in the military. Well, no. Okay, but listen, Somewhere. going into the military, you have to pull them sheets tight. You have to make sure your shit's on point, right? Mm -hmm. That stuff is drilled into you for years. So when you come out of the military, obviously you want them bed sheets pulled tight. You want this lined up, da -da -da -da, because that's what you're used to. So that's why you and some men will say that you're better at it. I have to disagree because I grew up having to clean the house. And I'm talking about Saturday by noon, once them cartoons is over and Soul Train is over, you better get that house cleaned up before you even go outside, think about going anywhere, making any plans. And I'm not, and then we used to do spring cleaning. Did y'all have to have spring cleaning when you uh -huh. was a kid? Because I'm going to tell you, we had spring cleaning. And I forgot there was something else that used to happen when I was a kid. But guess what? My kids, man, uh, 
I would let them clean. And even though it was like half ass, I would let it go until I just couldn't take it anymore. And then I start to clean it. Then they start getting mad because like, if I got to clean it, then I want it done the way I do it for now on. So, but see, this is what I'm talking about. And this is how we grew up, how I grew up. You washed, you, you, you wiped down walls, you wiped down steps. We did baseboards, we did window seals. Like that was spring cleaning. You opened up all the windows. Inside of the windows. Inside, I mean, you opened up all the windows so that fresh air would come through. Mm -hmm. You had, and then when I was coming up, me and my brother, we had to do the dishes. And we Did took one of turns. you have to wash and one of you had to dry? Right, and we took turns doing that. Oh, hell no. I'm not taking turns because whoever dries also has to put away. I'm not doing two jobs for the price of one, mate. I'm washing up every time. And then you had to sweep. You had to you had to sweep and mop the floor and take out the trash. That was ev you could not go to bed with the kitchen looking trashed. And did you have to make your bed? Yeah, you had to make your bed. You had to make your bed before you went on, uh, before you left. And and I'm gonna tell you. And my if, if my kids were here right now, they'll tell you. I was a pet peeve because this is what I used to hate as a kid. I have friends come over or my cousins would come over, they tear up my bedroom and then they bounce. And then my dad's like, oh, he'll come up and be like, oh, y'all need to clean this room up before you go to bed. I just be like, we didn't do this by ourselves. <laughs> we didn't do this. Or, or, um, or he'd be like, um, before we go anywhere, I'd be like, oh, can I spend a night or so and so house? He'd be like, is your room, room clean? Room tidy, yeah. I just be like, well, they ain't got nothing to do with anything. I can just shut the door. Be, then it would be, and don't just think about opening your wardrobe and putting everything in there, put it away properly. Oh, <laughs> my God. Put it away properly. And I'm, mm -hmm. do you think, just this is a slightly off topic then, slightly, why can you keep missing your mouth with this drink today? I got, all I'm say, I got, it's all I down. Got, I got coffee all down my shirt now. It's all down to the cup. You should have had the original cup. I'm sorry. Anywho. Any who I really who, think do you think that kids have it too easy these days when it comes to things like that? Yes. Straight way to the point. Easy. Yep. Way right. too easy. My kids used to have a, a used to used to fight me tooth and nail to take the trash out. But then I, I go back to when my dad my dad used to go, so are we doing leaning tower of trash over here? Like, y'all just going to wait till it spills out before you take it out? I'd just be like, oh, man. Whose turn is it? Since you done ran your mouth, go on there and take that trash out. Okay, so, so, so men are better at cars and finance. Anything else? And cleaning. Cars, finance, and cleaning. You think men are And I'm going to tell you right now, this is a lost art. Cooking. You think men are better at cooking? Heck yeah. They do seem to be a more, you know, like celebrity chefs, Gordon Ramsay, George, Gino DeCampo, you've probably got American ones of. Do you have more men or women celebrity chefs? More men. Yeah, same here. Same here. Now, don't get me twisted. I feel as though women cooking now is almost a lost art. Because they on the whole tip of equal opportunities you know um that's what i think <laughs> they think I'm why should they have to be, like you said earlier they think why should i have to be the one to do the cooking you can do some why i gotta work he works i gotta work too so he can hoover he can do this he can do that so i don't do you think, think that. so you do you think oh this is a good one so do you think by women jumping into the workforce hurt you guys in, in a way when it comes to homemaking? Um, no, because whether they jump into work or not, they should still have pride in their home and their, you know, being a homemaker. Women so you're saying, them. so you're saying if a woman jumps into the workforce, she should have in her head that you are still, you're, you're a homemaker first. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I'm just gonna say yeah. So you're saying that 
you are really hanging me out to dry today. But <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, man versus woman right here. So you're saying to me, well, to us in this unit, to the world, to the world, that if a woman decides to go into the workforce, not only does she have to bring home the bacon, she still has to come home and make sure. The house is clean, the laundry's done, food on the table, and the kids taken care of. Yeah. So but what does that if so her husband does want to do any of those things, then he can do it sometimes. Okay. But what if he doesn't want to do it at all? Don't what if he just what if he just comes home? He's gotta bring something else to the table then. Like what? Well, this is so he's so this is what you're saying. So he comes home, brings home the bacon, and the only thing he's in charge of <laughs> is taking the trash out. <laughs> no, mowing the keeping lawns. the cars, keeping the cars maintained, cars maintained, mowing the lawns, the mowing the lawn. And there is one real, and that's it, important job that he would have to do, and it's not up for negotiation. What? get the spiders and bugs out when they come in the house. Oh my God. There is no negotiation. So he has to be an exterminator on Correct. top of that. Yes. Mm. Y'all heard it first, y'all. From a woman. If you women decide, well, there's a lot of women out there now. I know. Can, I can, I'm not being rude. I can hear the comments now. <laughs> no, People never you normally said. comment very often on the show. She Today, said one. that you women, if y'all, if y'all out during that workforce and you got a man at home, you got to come home after putting in eight hours and you better make sure there's some food on the table and that laundry is done and them dishes is clinked up. But then on the other hand, if kids that, is tucked in, they homework done and everything. If that is the case, I would like, you know, flowers every now and then, a little bit of romance, you know, take oh, me out God. for dinner, you know just to show a little bit of appreciation. I don't want to go unnoticed, let's say that. You don't, don't want to go unnoticed. No. Nah. So a little bit of appreciation, like a couple of date night, you know, flowers, a watch if he buys himself a watch, um, you Wait know. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's <If> all. I... <laughs> Yo, you were, okay. Oh, he's getting fired let's up. Let's think of another thing. Hold up, hold up. So, how do you feel about now? This is a good one. This is this is on the parenting thing. How do you feel? Who should be the disciplinarian in the household when you got a man and woman? They both working. You got kids. You know what I mean? Who handles the disciplinarian? Who handles the discipline in the household? Who do you think should have have that role? The man or the woman? Who do I think? Ooh, oh my God, you really are sending me out on a boat with no oar today. Um, Man versus woman, I think I'm, I'm winning this one. No way, not in my head. Uh, uh, I think a man. <laughs> uh, yeah, because the mom should be the nurturer, like, so, you know, like if your kids are at home and they're messing around, all you got to say is you wait till your dad comes home and they'll be like, no, okay, we won't do it anymore. So basically you're using this as a, as a, a threatening tool. Ain't that something? But guess what though? I'm going to agree with you. And I'm going to tell you why. When I was coming up, my grandma used to say that, um, the, the mothers are the comforters and the fathers are the disciplinarians. So that means not to say that the mom can't discipline, you know what I mean? But she's the comforter. She's going to lighten the blow for you. Because mm -hmm. I remember I got spanked in front of my, my grandma, right? And I thought my grandma was going to save me. And you know what she said? Oh, baby, it's going to be okay. Just next time, don't do it. Don't do that type of stuff. Or you wouldn't get spanked. I'm just like, Grandma, I wanted you to stop him from spanking me. And you're sitting here condoning it. This, this, is so, the, this is the point about being a single parent, right? Because you have to be both. And 
so like at the point that you'll be in the disciplinary person, obviously then they're going to cry or, you know, blah, blah, blah. So then there's a fine line. At what point are you like, oh, okay, it's fine. You know, because that's a contradiction, right? So this is where when it's just you and you've got to wear all these different hats, mm -hmm. lines can get a bit blurred and it can be a bit confusing. Be like, oh, baby, it's going to be okay. <laughs> don't just do don't that. skip school anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, he's supposed to, and then she give me some ice cream or something. I mean, don't get it wrong. People will probably think I'm talking like caveman days. You know, like when the man was the head of the household and he went out and got the bacon, and the woman stayed at home and she didn't leave the kitchen. You know, yeah, but... like leave it to Beaver. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. Oh, God. you ain't never watched Leave It to Beaver. Oh, that's another show. Y'all ain't never watched. You... <laughs> I'm, I'm older than you. I keep forgetting I'm older than you. Y'all was watching. You was watching Barney and all that type of stuff. Oh, no, I was not. It's so annoying. <laughs> so, we both agree that the disciplinary should fall on the father. The comforting part should equally be the same, but yeah. major majority of the comforting should come from mom. Because, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. When my kids were young and I was married to their mother, she used to do that all the time. She'd be like, and I'd just be listening to her and I used to find it hilarious. And they'd be like, she'd be like, you better stop. I'm gonna tell you one more time. You better stop. You better cut it out. Stop. And next thing you know, she'd be like, mm-hmm, okay then. Honey, they in here just jump. Nah, I'd just be like, here I come. And next you know, they get to run. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> then I just go back to doing what I was doing. But then I do agree with you that when I became a single parent, okay, I did have to learn to balance discipline and comforting. And, and, and when, you, when you're a man, it's hard to do what women do because you girls, women, ladies are very good at comforting. I am a man's man. Like once I crack your ass, go on outside. <laughs> That's my comforting mode. Go on outside. Are you okay? <laughs> All right, go on outside. <laughs> Don't do it again. Go on outside. <laughs> or, or I would put him on punishment. And then once I felt like, you know, they can learn their lesson, then I'd just be like, go on outside, play. <laughs> I turned into my dad. My dad used to crack your tail and tell you going outside. You'd be like, I just got a beat. Can I like catch my breath? <laughs> I don't want to see going outside. <laughs> see now, I remember we had a conversation. Okay. <laughs> we had a conversation before about parenting. When we talked about parenting and I said, you're not allowed to smack your children. Now let's not get it twisted. People do. You're not allowed to leave a mark. A little tap on the back of the thigh, you know, on the bum cheek, whatever. I've, I've, oh God, please don't shoot me anybody. Don't send around social services. I slapped Alfie once, right, on his leg. Um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> it, well, I remember it like it was yesterday. So I'd, 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 it'd been just me and Alfie for a while. And- um, He spares out, he spares out. <laughs> I, both of us were tired, I'm not gonna lie. He wasn't sleeping in the night. He still, you know, still wakes up sometimes now, um, gets up ridiculously early. <clears throat> so this one night, <clears throat> excuse me, or this one evening, he just wasn't listening. You know, like he'd start to say, bang in the wall. And I'd say, don't do that. You know, no, he'd watch me in my face and still carry on doing it. I'd be like, right, that's it. After a while, I said, right, that's it. You're obviously tired. We're going to bed. Took him upstairs, like was sorting his pajamas out and stuff. And he kept kicking his legs, not kicking me per se, but just kicking his legs. Don't do that. Don't do that. Carry on doing it. I said, do not do that. And in the end, I just tapped him on the legs. Do not do that. You know, instantly he was bawling. Like, let's not get it twisted. It was a light tap. Maybe it was the shock factor. I don't know. Bawling instantly. So I was like, I told you, don't do that. Blah, blah. Put him in his bed. <laughs> Stayed in the room so that he didn't get out of his bed. So he went to bed, cried himself to sleep. What did I do? Took myself straight to my bed, cried myself to sleep because I felt so bad. Aww. Feels so bad. Uh, well, you know what? I feel like you discipline your kids. 
as, as when they're young and then when they get older, like when my kids got older, I didn't have to do anything to them. I had, cause they knew what they needed. They knew what they had to do. And then like, I'm, when they got older, I was more of a lecturer. They used to just roll their eyes like, oh God, here we go. And I go, you can roll your eyes all you want. It's the truth. You can like it if you don't. Now I could, I said, I could take my belt off, but you guys is getting too old for that. You know what I mean? So when they're young, I think discipline is, is, is a good thing. It's, it's how you do it though. You know what I mean? Like uh, you need to make sure that the kids understand why they're being disciplined and the punishment should fit the crime. You know, it, 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 it shouldn't be like over exacerbated. Like meaning like you can't discipline them and then put them on punishment. Like it's either one or the other. You know what I mean? And and then you got to explain to them why they're getting disciplined. Mm -hmm. So, okay, bring uh, it back to topic. Who is the better mom or dad, male or female, at organizing? And when I mean organizing, I mean days out, holidays, vacations, trips away. Women, uh, hands down. Parties. Hands down. I'm gonna tell you right now. When it comes to planning something, mm -hmm. you women got that. And then let me let me explain one thing that I cannot. I think it's just one of these things that just, ah, uh, as a man, if you can relate, please say amen in the comments. You women do not forget anything. Nope. Oh my gosh. I, Listen, I'm telling you, as I get, like my memory has been on point all my life, right? People say to me, how do you even remember that? And I'm like, well, I remember everything. However, what I'm finding is as I get older, I can't tell you what happened yesterday, but 20 years ago, I could give you blow by blow account every word of a conversation. I mean, because when it comes to like planning stuff or like you, <laughs> the planner opens up and y'all got like everything y'all need to do up to the vacation or holiday. Even when, and I'm going to tell you, y'all are better at saving money i'm gonna tell you that right now but that comes under the finance umbrella though and you said men was better at that i think men are better at you know handling bills and making sure stuff is paid yeah but when it comes to saving though for like a holiday or vacation we don't, we don't not way good at that. watches on a whim that's why because i feel i would totally forget i'd be like when we was going on a holiday for real i didn't put no money away because <laughs> you you're, you're wearing it on your wrist that's why wait a minute wait a minute i think someone has a shoe fetish <laughs> it's the same thing well, i'd buy my man a pair of shoes as well i wouldn't just buy one for myself mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. how many pair of shoes do you think you would buy before you buy your man a pair of shoes you ain't gonna buy him the same pair of shoes i mean you're not gonna buy him Every time you go shoe shopping, you're going to buy him a pair of shoes. No, no, I wouldn't necessarily. Okay. Every time I went to shoe shopping, I wouldn't necessarily buy him a pair of shoes, but I'd buy him something, a new t-shirt, like um, a new jumper, um, whatever, a gadget if he needed something. If he needed it. But if no, I'm saying if he needed a gadget, needed I'd buy him out. something, whether it be an item of clothing, a gadget if he needed one or something for, I don't know, a hat, whatever. I'd buy him something. Mm. I disagree. Well, that's because you just look. Disagree. I disagree. You disagree. But I'm going to tell you, you guys are way better at planning stuff because y'all's minds are like steel traps. Y'all don't forget nothing, man. Ugh. Don't get into an argument with a woman because she'll bring up some stuff that happened 10 years ago when you done already apologized for it, done moved on, done forgot all about it. And as soon as you get in that argument, Nah, mother, nah, nah, mother fucker. Remember 2000, 2001, when I saw you walking across the street holding that little bucket headed girl's hand and you gonna tell me y'all was just friends? Police! Y'all, y'all don't forget nothing, y'all. No, sir. So let's now, just- That's one thing that y'all got on us men. Y'all minds are sharper than ours because I'm gonna tell you right now, Shop. My favorite word is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? What? What are you 
talking about? about? I don't, I don't know. Sure, but... <laughs> so let's summarize. You think that men are better at finances, cars, and cooking. Cleaning too. Mm-hmm. And cleaning. That's a lot of C's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've got my theory that we should go back to traditional a bit more. Well, you know, if you go back to traditional, women women cut the grass too, though. Women have never cut the grass. Get that out of your brain. I mean, if you want to go to traditional, cutting the grass just part of the housely duties. So no, they do the flower way. arranging. Men cut the grass and mow, mow the lawn and cut the hedge. Women do the borders with the flowers and the hanging baskets. Gardening. Is that what you're saying? Minus the lawn, yeah. Okay. So do you think we should do the shoveling too in the snow? Oh, hell, to be fair. Y'all shouldn't get out there and get the shoveling too. I'll bring you a cup of tea to warm you up. How about that? Make sure there's some bourbon in it. We got to do it. And I'll bring you a cake if you want or a biscuit to go with it. There you go. I can't have a biscuit in the cold. Just bring me the, the tea there you with go some then. That's the That's how the best of balance. You get out there. You've just got a handy hat. Get your WD-40 on your, on your spade. I'm going to give you one thing, though. You can have the laundry. Thank you. I can't stand laundry. I wait till I wait till I got one pair of tidy whities before I go washing clothes again. Just they be tight too. I just be like, oh, I gotta do some laundry. The only, yeah. find, hey. the only thing I find annoying about laundry is when you finally get to the bottom of the basket, right? You're like, oh my god, the basket's empty. Literally the next day, you're like, what? Where's all these clothes come from? It was empty yesterday. I'm famous for that. My laundry basket being a laundry room, and I'm steady throwing clothes, dirty clothes in my closet. So by the time I, by the time I actually get to it, fold it, put it away, I got a whole nother basket of dirty clothes. <laughs> oh, well, that was a very entertaining discussion on yes, very. men versus women. I think men won, actually. To be honest, I actually think it was a draw, but. It's down to opinion. Sorry, Wait, I can't I, wait for the comments on this one. Sorry if I offended anybody with my opinion. Not sorry. Say amen, say amen, fellas, when I say that women don't forget nothing. <laughs> amen. Okay, so last section of Fun Day Friday series. Mm-hmm. Did you come series? Back? Can I tell you one? I don't know if you watched it. You've watched a different series than I have. You've been watching Bulletproof, which I have to say, Bulletproof is a really good show. But you haven't watched enough of it yet. But we have actually discussed it on our Wednesday meeting and chosen one. So I'm really hoping whatever's going to come out next time you part the lips is the one we discussed. You go first. Oh, no. Oh, no. You go first. That means you've forgotten, right? Yes. Money heist. See what I mean? See what I mean, fellas? They don't forget nothing. Hello. Across the pond notepad, which we take notes in every way. No, and guess what? I'm looking right at it, too. And what does it say? This is so... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Friday show. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I got it right there, too. I got it right there, too. Money heist. How can you say then that you've forgotten number one or be that? Yeah, I wasn't looking at my notepad. I wasn't looking at my notepad. But this and we're back in the money. room. Money heist. What did you think of it? I loved it. Loved but it. But see, it's um, it's um, uh, is it Portuguese? Where, where are they I from? Thought it was Spanish. Spain. They're from Spain. Can I? But just I think ask their language though, is Portuguese. Did you watch it? Because it, it, it's foreign, right? So it's you, foreign, but it's but it's dubbed in English. You can you can choose, right? Yeah. So did you did you subtitle it or did Mm-mm. you dub it? I dubbed that bad boy in English. Because when someone told me, uh, it was even last year or the year before, and I was like, oh, I'll watch it, you know. Pressed it, and I was like, oh man, not subtitles because I can't keep up. That's when I was like, oh, hello. But some people that I've spoken to said they can't watch it because obviously their mouth ain't. I loved it. 
I'm gonna sense. tell you, it's a, a it's it's a series that is great. I watched it all the way, and then it was a phenomenon because then people started having like costumes and stuff. Yeah, that's. And scary. I'm gonna tell you, um, a little health tip. It was actually a movie. They what? broke it down into a series. What was the movie? Money Heist, but they broke it down into a series. It was actually a movie, like a. Have you seen the movie? Listen to what I'm saying. It started out as a movie. Oh, they didn't actually make it as a movie. They they made it as a movie. Oh, but they didn't actually make it as in put it out in the cinema. No, they broke oh. it down to make a series of it. Mm. And I'm telling you, that joint is dope. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you who's a, I'm gonna tell you who the best character of them all is, and that's the professor. Yeah. <laughs> But we better tell people what it's about, really, because there's us half okay. of them. We haven't even said what it's about. Well, it's about this dude who comes up with a plan to rob one of the most secure banks in Spain. It's it's impenetrable, but he has a plan that his father had did years ago, died, and he was paying a tribute to his father by robbing this impenetrable bank and what he does is he recruits all these people that got certain i guess skills. characteristics that he needs skills to pull, yeah to pull this bank robbery off and it gets intense yeah plot twists everywhere plot twists i'm talking about but to the know, very end plot it was twist. one of those series is where at the end, I was like, God, that was good. Then when they brought it out, it's was like, oh, there's going to be series two. I was like, really? How are they going to be able to do that? But they brought their A game. And I'm, 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 and you know what I'm hoping? Because it ended on a cliffhanger to where, like, I hope they come out with some more. They can't leave it there, man. Come on. Unless they left it on such a cliffhanger. Then I am like surprised. Ain't nobody talked about Money Heist. Like, when is it coming back out? Mm -hmm. If they're gonna have like a finale, because it is ridiculous. And I think everybody on that cast kind of blew up because now I see them all over Netflix. Mm. It was good. I liked it. It's on Netflix, people. Money Heist. It's money Heist. Go and watch it. What are you giving it out of five? Oh, I'm giving it a straight. I want to give it a six, but it's a five for me because I am. Uh, if you don't like, because their their mouths don't move or match or whatever, if you watch karate movies back in the day, you can do it. Exactly. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give it a straight five. <laughs> yes. Money Heist is it. I watched, I'm going to kid you not, I think, I don't know how many episodes it is, maybe 10 or 11, but I remember I stayed up all night to the wee hours in the morning. I couldn't turn it off. It was like every time it, every time it ended, I was like, just one more. I know, it is like that, ain't it? Um, I totally agree, it's addictive. But yeah, that gets a big, fat, juicy 10 out of 10. Yes, it's a must watch if you ain't watched it already. Watch Money Heist. Mm -hmm. To be fair, if you think about it, it's got a bit of everything. It's got a bit of action. There's a bit of love stories between different people. Mm -hmm. Then there's a bit of history. There's plot twists, a couple of explosions, gunshots. Yes. It's got it all in there. It's got it all. I'm talking about it. it's got it all. It's got it going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, 10 out of 10. All right, people. Yeah. Well, man versus women. And again, man versus food. Won. I think we won. So anyway. I think it was a draw. This is so. This is red. And we are from across the pond. <laughs> Now, can I just say, yes. I can never ever take you seriously when that jingle is on. The faces that you pull, exactly like you're in the zone. <laughs> All right, so 
See you on Sunday. Have a lovely weekend. Hey, Valentine's Day on Sunday. I expect flowers, chocolates, perfume, hearts, candles. Yeah. We'll see. Goodbye, Rich. Goodbye, self. See you Sunday. See you Sunday. Yeah, bye.